The Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez romance is back on and causing a huge stir on social media, even for Gen Z, which is saying a lot. But what is it about the Benefer reunion that has everyone on the edge of their seat to see what they do next? Well, we'll see if we can answer this as we take a journey through Ben Affleck's dating history. But before we begin, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest on your favorite celebs. First on the list is Ben's high school sweetheart, Cheyenne Rothman. The two met at summer camp and dated on and off for seven years before finally calling it quits in 1997. After Rothman, Ben began to date actress Gwyneth Paltrow that same year. The two then co-starred in Shakespeare in Love in 1998 before ending their relationship in 1999. Ironically, Ben and Gwyneth's relationship bounced back a bit in 2000 when they later co-starred in the film Bounce, but then once again split later that year. 15 years later, Gwyneth spoke about her romance with Ben on The Howard Stern Show, saying, He's super intelligent and he's really, really talented and so funny, but he was not in a good place in his life to have a girlfriend. Next up, Jennifer Lopez. Ben and Jen met in 2002 after starring in Geely together. Jennifer was just finalizing her divorce from Chris Judd around June of that year, and then in November, Ben proposed to her. The romance generated a ton of publicity and adoration from fans, but the two never got to say I do as they ended their engagement in 2004. Now, later in 2004, Ben began dating another Jennifer, Jennifer Garner. And they got engaged in April of 2005 before getting married in Turks and Caicos just two months later. Then in December of 2005, Ben and Jennifer welcomed their daughter Violet before having two more kids, Serafina in 2009 and Samuel in 2012. However, their romance started to crumble nearly a decade after their marriage. In 2015, Page Six reported Ben and Jennifer's relationship began to weaken after reports of Ben's alleged gambling issues and possible infidelity. A day after their 10th wedding anniversary, the two announced their split before officially divorcing in 2018. Two years later, when speaking to the New York Times, he revealed his biggest regret was his divorce from Jennifer. Now to Saturday Night Live producer Lindsay Shookus. At Us Weekly, we reported that the two had hooked up all the way back in 2014 while Ben was still married to Jennifer. Ben and Lindsay were then more public about their relationship in the summer of 2017, dating on and off until 2019. Reports claimed it was due to their hectic schedules. And in between his romance with Lindsay in 2018, Ben had reportedly dated Shauna Sexton, a former Playboy model and veterinary tech for about two months. At the time of Ben and Shauna's romance, she was 23 while he was about a couple decades older. Now on to one of Ben's most notable romances of recent memory. Let's talk about his relationship with actress Ana de Armas. Ben and Anna met on the set of their film, Deep Water. Now in March of 2020, they sparked dating rumors after they were caught making out during a trip to Cuba. Now at Us Weekly, we received confirmation the two began to officially date about a month later. Their relationship grew quickly, and at one point, Ben started to introduce his kids to Anna. However, the two broke up in January of 2021, with Us Weekly reporting that the two were moving in different directions in their lives and stopped seeing eye to eye. Now this leads us back to Ben Affleck's romance with Jennifer Lopez just 17 years after calling off their engagement. Not long after his split from Anna and JLo ending her engagement with Alex Rodriguez in April of 21, the Geely stars are dating once again. Now an insider told Us Weekly that Jen got back in touch with Ben after it became apparent to her that things with A-Rod weren't working anymore and that they began exchanging flirty phone calls and texts after she split with the baseball player. But all right, that's Ben Affleck's dating history. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and tell us who we should cover next time. Also, don't forget to hit the sub, like, and bell button for more content just like this.